Good morning. My name is Walker Reynolds, and I'm the president and managing partner of Intellic Integration. We're a full-service systems integrator based in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we have offices in San Antonio and Ithaca, New York. And in this video today, um, I'm going to show you a couple of configuration options um, using the uh, MQTT modules from Sirius Link and Ignition, uh, a Raspberry Pi 3, Node Red, um, and the Mosquito Broker. <clears throat> well, basically, I'm going to show you how to filter out uh, tags that you don't want to subscribe to. Uh, later on, this um, there will be a post uh, on the, our blog that'll take you through step by step uh, what we're doing here. Um, all right, so what I've got is uh, running uh, a Raspberry Pi 3 is running Mosquito. Um, it is also running uh, Node Red. I have a local network. The Raspberry Pi 3 is acting as our broker, and Ignition is acting as an agent in this case. This is an extension or our original demo. If you want to see the original demo in detail, um, it's under the blog post, Getting Started with Ignition and MQTT. <clears throat> All right, so on Node Red, I have two flows. Um, one is to build a, um, a uh, OE simulator using MQTT in Node Red. So all that's happening here is um, I'm selecting the number of parts that I want to have run. Um, and I think I'm doing that here. I am right here, message payload, or uh, if the message dot payload is less than 100. Um, total number of parts I want to have run, um, the delay, how often I want my parts to increment. Um, this will be, uh, and forgive me, I'm using a, a different headset today. I'm on the road. Um, I didn't have my headset to make this video, so uh, it may sound a little echoey. But, um, and in this uh, here, what I'm doing is this is would come off our machine rate. So if my machine rate is 60 parts uh, per minute, then that's one part every second. So, uh, and we'll be doing some mathematics to calculate this. So essentially we run our code, we increment, we delay, we increment again. Then we, um, <clears throat> I have a function block here that is deciding whether or not our part is good or bad. Um, if our part is good, it goes to our out feed. If our, pat, if our part is bad, it goes to waste. Again, this is a simulator. Um, I have a reset in here that resets the accounts to zero. And then um, one of the things that I've got to do here is I have to read the waste and out feed and then store the waste and out feed counts into a global variable that I can then go get uh, later. And, and when this simulator is done, uh, I'll have a complete video with all the code to show you how to build the simulator because honestly the javascript the javascript function that i have in here is going to end up being pretty large i mean this is pretty basic at this point it's going to end up being probably a couple hundred lines um okay <clears throat> the other thing i have is uh, and um this will be in another video as well is how we can consume um an ignition tag xml uh so this would be this is going to be used to convert projects so we could take a tag xml from ignition which i already do um, we can consume that tag XML and then we could spit those out, those tags out as uh, MQTT topics. Um, it's just a way for us to be able to do this dynamically. And I'll have another video later on. But right now I do have a tag XML. Um, and you can see um, I just consume the tags XML and then I spit it out as a JSON. And then what I do um, in the later code is I parse through it and then spit out the MQTT topics. Okay, so anyway, I've got Node Red running with two flows. Um, I have MQTT Spy uh, here, which will show us all of our uh, all of the topics. So I have basically two parent directories. I have the Hello directory and I have the MQTT directory. Um, in Ignition right now, um, I am. You'll notice I'm only subscribing to the MQTT directory, and I'm going to show you how we're doing that. Um, so here, back in our um, gateway configuration page, we go down to the MQTT engine settings. I have a, uh, a server, an MQTT engine server set up as Pi, and that is our Raspberry Pi. Um, if I click edit and I go to namespaces, 
and I click on custom, in here I can put my filters. So right now, in theory, I could have a broker that's publishing to say all of my plants. So let's say I'm, I, I've got uh, edge devices installed in plants all over the world. Uh, and, and the root directory of each, of each plant is uh, the plant ID number. Let's say I've got plant one, plant two, plant three, plant four. What I can do is I can put a filter in here in the MQTT engine custom namespaces to filter out the tag, only the tags I don't want to see. So in this case, right now I have my gateway set up to only subscribe to MQTT 1082 and then anything that's under the 1082 um, path. Um, and so if we if we look here, I MQTT 1082 and then if I put in stamping, uh, molding, doesn't matter, uh, anything that's underneath 1082, any of those topics are gonna, are gonna get published. But notice none of my hello topics are because I've filtered those out. So right now, if I go back to uh, node red and this entire all this code here publishes to <clears throat> node red so if i start my simulator so this will this will run for 100 seconds and if i go to mqtt spy you'll notice uh, my simulator is running i've created uh, 81 good parts i've incremented for the 10th time i've got 27 bad parts and then i've got my hello json that spit out um, but in my gateway i don't so the way that i can fix that is go back here and edit my, I can either create a new custom namespace or I can just go ahead and edit this one. And that's what I'm gonna do here. So the hashtag is, think of it as your star wildcard. So if I go ahead and say hashtag, come down here and, uh, nope, go here and restart my module. And I'm not sure if I have to restart the module. I just know that it originally didn't work and restarting the module took care of it. So I didn't read on Sirius Link's um, documentation <clears throat> whether or not it's required that I restart the module. Um, so now if I go ahead and refresh and come down here, go to my engine, um, now all my hello uh, topics are in there and you'll see that they're incrementing. Um, another thing I wanted to point out, uh, there was a second thing I wanted to point out uh, let me go back to MQTT spy. Oh, retention. Um, okay. So in general, um, by the, by default, MQTT doesn't, um, the values are not retained at the broker. So when we talk about our architecture where we have agents on the outside publishing to our broker and then our broker is, is sending those updated values to all of the agents that are subscribing to whatever topic you just published to. So I've got a tag, hello world, and I'm writing Walker in there into hello world, or in this case, let's do hello increment. Um, everyone who is subscribing to hello increment is going to get a notification from the broker when the, ta the topic is updated. By default, uh, t the retention flag is set to zero. So what that means is when you, by default, when you publish a new value to the topic at the broker, the broker does not store that value. It just sends it to the agents that are subscribing it, subscribing to it, and then forgets it. It just remembers what is the name of the topic and who's subscribing to it. If you turn your retention flag to true, that is retain the value, you're, what you're doing is you're telling the broker store the value. So that means if an agent gets, uh, if a subscriber gets disconnected and doesn't receive the original update, when it reconnects, they'll receive the last value of the tag. Or if you have a new subscriber reconnect, they will receive the, uh, the and, and that's the most important thing is if a new subscriber comes on, they will receive the, the uh, last value. Um, in the, uh, later on in a later video, I'll show you how to do that uh, using SiriusLink's uh, API. Um, again, uh, so that, that's my uh, video, uh, quickly showing you how you can filter through topics. Um, using uh, wildcards and paths in Sirius Link's module, um, using the custom namespaces. And in this case, we, and in this case, I'm using a custom namespace main, named Raspberry, which doesn't, the namespace itself doesn't mean anything. Um, it's the subscription, how we configure that subscription. 
Um, I will have a uh, full blog post um, on the on this video um, later on in the week. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, have a good day.